Hello everybody, and today back in Infinite Flight, oh my goodness, the resume button is being covered up by whatever this really is, I don't know, the home screen. Anyways, today we are at London City, hooray, and I can't see anything. Okay, so we're back here in Infinite Flight, I have no app actual idea of what's going on right now, but yeah, this video is about landing here, so who really cares about takeoff? Okay, so here we are back in Infinite Flight again, so obviously not the most accurate representation, uh, you don't have glitches in real life, which is why simulators don't, aren't exactly 100% realistic, you can't lag out of real life. Yet, I, yeah, this is one of those problems. I, I accidentally kept my win settings for another video that I did. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus Christ, what was that? Okay. Hey, did you guys hear the great news? I just got hired by Ryanair. Yeah, that was a very bad... Very... Very bad landing. I wouldn't have called that a landing. Yeah, lag. Okay, this is not good. Yeah, that was just a very bad landing, I guess. I really don't know. Yeah, touched down with the nose gear, but then whatever that is happened. And somehow it didn't say crashed. And yet when I touched down with the nose gear, it says I crashed. Okay, so now we are in the Cessna Citation X. And I still have the throttle at zero. See, with, the thing is with these engined aircraft... You could put the throttle at zero, and you'll still be able to land, I guess. Not really. I'm not sure that's the case with this, but... Whoa, Jesus Christ. Okay, off the runway. Yeah, that's pretty much what happens when it's windy. That's not. Sliding off the runway like that. Okay, so we're back on the runway. Uh, sorry about how my voice sounds. It sounds kind of like I go squeaky. Like, like ah! I got to do that. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, God, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. So, you can operate the Cessna Citation X at this airport, London City, and it is a... This airport is an actual pretty nice one, I guess. Yeah, I'm not sure how realistic that was. Landing that in that. Anyways... <clears throat> Yeah, that was a pretty successful landing, I guess. Off the runway. But, that was because... Oh, oh, Jesus Christ, that was the hardest landing I've ever had in my life. Okay, so now we're in the 737, and as you can tell, I know I'm not really going to make the smoothest of landings on this one. Okay, yeah, I'm not too confident about this one. What was that? Oh no. Oh yeah, that was a bad landing. Okay, let's try that again. Final. I don't know what in the world this wind turbulence is. Yeah, I did a video about me landing aircraft in like in like 60 mile an hour winds. Oh, Jesus Christ. 10 out of 10 landing. I mean, that was above the standards that Ryanair would have set for their pilots, but you know what? I, you know, no, I, I can't even make a joke about that landing. That was horrible. I don't even think, like, Ryanair doesn't make the smoothest landings, but they don't crash. In fact, I've never heard of a Ryanair aircraft crashing. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's loud. Okay, so it turns out I still had my wind gusts on, like, 60 miles an hour, so that's why 
everything was happening. Okay, let's just line up for a normal approach. I forgot how difficult it is with this aircraft in this game. Yeah, you can't have any flaps. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that was not good. Let's try again, but maybe try and... Yeah, this is... I don't know what's going on. I have to... Okay, yeah, it's the flaps full that's doing it, for sure. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, reverse thrust. Oh, what is with the lag? Yeah, again, this is... The only thing that's not realistic about these simulators is that they lag. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, please don't. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God, no. Okay. Passengers, please exit the aircraft. Yeah, that was not good. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you tomorrow, and I'll see you in the next video.